I'm Colleen Macklin, and I'm a game designer. I think my superpower is failing and being okay about it. I think that that's probably what I do. I fail a lot. The game design process is built on failure. You know, it's about making something and seeing it break and figuring out, well, from that, well, what could I do better? It might be that I've designed a game and I've taken it from my context and my culture and I've gone somewhere else. I work at a research lab at Parsons School of Design and we make games in the social interest. We might take a game we made and bring it to Senegal and then all of a sudden realize, oh my God, dice represent something very different culturally in Senegal than they do in where I'm from, New York City. You know, when you play a game with someone, you learn so much about what kind of person they are. It's uh, kind of a wonderful way to learn about people, learn about the world even. Games are little systems, so we learn some systems thinking when we play games. Ultimately, I think we learn the power of not quitting and trying again. And when we fail, it's okay. Get up, brush yourself off, and, and do it over. Oh, is winning important? It depends on who you are. <laughs> Some people really think winning's important. Other people, maybe it's not as important. You know, ultimately, I think as a game maker, it's important to give players feedback about how well they're doing in a game. Games come from ancient ritual. They've been around for thousands and thousands of years. Archaeologists have found dice that are 4,000 years old. There's something about games we need, and perhaps we need violence in games in order to confront our own selves and who we are and learn more about society and, and, and how we tick as human beings, but also be a little bit cathartic, help us, help us deal with this, the tough stuff in life. I think that uh, schools are looking at games more seriously as um, kind of a technology by which students can learn things. And I imagine they'll be incorporated over time, you know, just as books as a technology came out. So I would hope actually that games get into schools not just as like a, a, a technology that people are using, but also as a mindset. Ultimately, a lot of people talk about games being used for learning. I actually think that we could turn learning more into a game, that we could actually, in schools, have a more playful mindset about learning. Because as humans, we, how do we first learn? We learn by playing. We learn by playing with things. We throw a ball and we see it bounce and we learn about physics and the world that way. The other thing that we learn when we play, and when we play a video game in particular, is that failure is how you learn how the world works. 